Kamsa Yun Lahat, si Mark and Mark here, the host for tonight's show, Pinot Crossover, the basketball show for the Filipino community. Over here on my right, we got here back for our season. JR, how you doing? What's going on, guys? I'm glad to be back. You know, I've been working behind the scenes so far, but, you know, letting these two guys host it out. But, you know, PJ's not here, so I just had to substitute. But, yeah, glad to be back on TV as well with these guys, you know? Awesome. Good to have you back. And over here on my left side, all the way from Lunchbox TV, I don't know if you've seen him. Lou, how are you feeling tonight? Good, good, good. It's good to be back. It's my second time. Right, yeah. second time. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's got a lot of basketball things to say, so yeah. let's go straight into... Our discussion, what do we have tonight, JR? So there's a lot of, this rookie class is very intriguing. So we, I know last episode you guys talked about um, awards like Rookie of the Year, MVP. But let's go to a deep dive into the, our rookie class this year. We got a lot of highlights. DeAndre Ayton, Luka Doncic, I, I think that's Don how you Kitch, say it. I think it's Doncic. Uh, Marvin Bailey, Trey Young, Stephen Curry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, and uh, Kevin Knox, Michael Porter Jr., and even Colin Saxon of the Cleveland Cavaliers. So... Uh, Lou, we want to know what, what, from a fan perspective, uh, um, fan perspective, what do you guys, what do you think about the rookie classes here? Who, who's going to stand out for you? This year's class is actually like pretty, pretty decent. Like it's got a good mix. But uh, I think the standouts, well, the three that I'm kind of watching closely is uh, Donkic, number one, uh, Bamba, and Aiden. Mm-hmm. Well, Luka Doncic, because I really like his game. He's uh, kind of between point guard to small forward that they, they, he handles. Great, great vision. Kind of like a watch. He's fun, yeah, kind of like a watch. newish Magic Johnson, Penny Hardaway kind of mm-hmm. hybrid. Mm-hmm. He's got. I mean, he's got a lot of opportunities right there. I mean, to play with uh, a guy like Dennis Smith, who's just on the verge of. Uh, breakout season. That was a that was a steal. Yeah, was... he was a steal from last year. I mean, uh, he was kind of inefficient to begin with, but it's kind of him getting that comfort zone. The same thing with a lot of players in their first year, but it's a good combination to have a guy who likes to score first uh, score mentality. Yeah. First with uh, Dennis Smith, and then who guy who have Dante who wants to you know play that point guard kind of. It's a pass. He's first. more like yeah, he's a yeah. pass force uh, first, like kind of like Simmons, but with a shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of fun to watch. I he's, mean, and he's like a fancy, so you yeah, know, he's is, got some moves. He's got some. He's, I mean, to be honest, he's one of and like people are already mentioning it. He's one of the most accomplished Euroleague players. Yeah, and he's only 19. So that that says a lot about a player who played in the big man league. I mean, he was playing with you know like professional veterans in the Euroleague, and man. he won the MVP. Yeah. So that says he, a lot. He kind of has game. a head start. He's not technically he's not a rookie, but he's in not. the NBA he is. Yeah. yeah, he has that experience to dominate in within games. And so it's going to be very exciting to see what he uh, does in the court, especially when you know Dirk Nowitzki is kind of like passing the torch. A good mentor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A good mentor to exactly. Have in, in a sense of, uh, I mean, he's the kind of player that can get. I mean, that trade was kind of very uh, controversial. Mm-hmm. He's the kind of player that can get. Uh, and that can get, a, I mean, the GM fired. Yeah. I mean, if they traded for a kind of player that he was, I mean, Atlanta Hawks GM must be worried, right? I mean, not worried, but he should keep a lookout because he could lose his job yeah, if that was, I don't know what that was. Came out of, I mean, Trey Young has a lot of good potential. I mean, a lot of players in my mind, too, that I'm watching, especially with Luka. I, I'm watching Kevin Knox. I think he's a really good player yeah. that everybody slept on, too. And I want to see Michael Porter. I think... Uh, they're giving him a chance to play this year. They were kind of uh, hesitant he, to play he's him. He's still injured, though, right? He had that made two major back injuries that he had surgery on, and people were very questionable. The, the potential it, so. is high, but those yeah. injuries kind of like it does. It does give a back, you know, back him for a few years, maybe. But like, knock on wood, you know, hopefully he could pass through that and yeah. plays well throughout this mm-hmm. NBA whole NBA career. Blake Griffin's like first couple of seasons, right? We're just yeah. He missed he missed a year, and yeah. then after that he was fine. That's what I'm saying. This, this could be a steal if he has back injury, uh, if he recovers very well from it. Because he was projected to be top three, top five in this draft. Top, top three, yeah. yeah I hear he top was three. top three mm-hmm. before that you know, injury happened. And many, many boards had him at one, actually. He, it's, I mean, he has that potential. He's long, he's lengthy, he's, he can shoot, he can score. He reminded me of Jason Tatum when I yeah. saw him play. I'm like, wow, this guy has that Jason Tatum kind of style in his game. He's a forward that can do everything, shoot. Right. And he can score anywhere around the court. So, if he has that opportunity, there's a lot of plenty in Denver. He could he could be the rookie of the year. Yeah, scout. I mean, like scouts, GMs, they're always worried about whenever they see an injury and they're trying to draft players. 
it, it's gonna they feel nervous man like yeah. it, it's 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 a it's a one second thing that they have to make sure that th is this good for their franchise we're gonna look at michael porter jr's situation and also look at uh, we spoke about Atlanta and Dallas situation. Was that a good trade? But mm -hmm. Trey Young is kind of intriguing as well because people have been saying that, oh, he's the next Stephen Curry. He's a but pure scorer. He's, man. he's either a Curry or a Jimmer. Like it could go yeah. either way. That's. But uh, we have to see what he does within Atlanta system and what mm -hmm. Atlanta is actually trying to do to rebuild their whole organization, their whole team. They traded Dennis Trude Trying to make sure reason, that they, yeah. they get back into the playoff spot, yeah. maybe lower 8C, but, you know, mm -hmm. Trey Young looks intriguing. He, that preseason game the other night when he shot a three uh, against the Spurs yeah, like, and won the game. I mean, that's Steph Curry, but, I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens. He's very So far, preseason, he's, he looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. yep. So who's your pick this year, guys? Who's your pick year out of all that, you know, pretty deep draft class prospects? Who do you have kind of coming out of it? Who's your year? Lou. I... Well, I want Doncic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he has a big chance in Dallas to sh just shine. Yeah. So, I'd say so too. Uh, Luca has high potential. He's a high playmaker. I mean, like he is a, a, a reflection of Ben Simmons, but yeah. who can also do more than what Ben Simmons can do. Yeah. And in that system already, that Dallas system, I mean, it's a perfect fit for him. Perfect trade that actually happened for mm -hmm. them. Yeah, I think uh, I'm very big fan of Luca. But I'm gonna go with DeAndre Ayton just because he has the green light at Phoenix. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> most most of the time, rookie of the year goes to someone who produces the most, and I think he has every opportunity to produce. So yeah. I'm staying. DeAndre Ayton can be have a monster season. Mm -hmm. 